Hey everyone, thank you for joining me uh, talking today about Falco. So I'm Luca and uh, I'm one of the maintainers for the Falco project. Uh, I work at Sysdig, the company that originally created Falco. So today I would like to uh, tell you a bit about the evolution of the project, what it does and what we're excited about. So if you don't know what Falco is, uh, Falco is a graduated project from the CNCF, and uh, you could read uh, on the website that Falco is an open source runtime security solution for threat detection uh, across Kubernetes containers, hosts, and the cloud. But what does that actually mean, and how uh, we got to where Falco is today? So, generally speaking, Falco monitors your infrastructure for security events. So, whether it's a host, Kubernetes or containers, uh, uh, we've got monitoring. And this has been true since day one. So how do we do it? It's the core, the essence of Falco, is the fact that we have a very simple and easy to understand uh, language for specifying rules. In this, in this case, we want to be alerted every time a process opens a specific file that we are interested in. That's very simple and core to Falco. And in fact, Every time this happens, you will get an alert in the form of a message. So this was great, and how we do that under the hood is really not important as long as this actually works. This was great, but people started asking, so what do I do with my events? I have them, so what can I do? And so Falco evolved to have a lot of channels that you can use to output your events. So we have a lot of things that you can actually build yourself if you want. And we have a new, uh, it was new back then, a project called Falco Sidekick that has more than 60 integrations to Slack, to your CM, to Elasticsearch databases, queues, whatever you can think of, there is an integration for it. And uh, uh, later, during the evolution of the project, we thought that syscalls uh, are cool because these events, opening a file, creating a process, and these kind of things are system calls in the kernel. But what else can we monitor? We have Kubernetes, and Kubernetes has uh, uh, audit events, for example, but we also run things in our infrastructure from cloud providers, and cloud providers have their own audit logs. So how do we do it? How do we get Falco to monitor those as well? We have created a plugin system for a couple of years now that has, uh, uh, right, right now you can find more than 20 plugins uh, and you can pretty much monitor whatever you want. You can find, uh, uh, you, uh, can find um, AWS, CloudTrail, uh, Okta logs, uh, GCP, Kubernetes audit events, and many more things. Uh, and if, you, if it's not enough for you, you can create your own plugin, actually, uh, if you can, that would be awesome for the community, uh, in uh, your preferred language. And we received uh, a visit recently from the Rust Evangelism Strike Force, and so we have Rust support as well, uh, along with C, C++, and Go that we had uh, since uh, the plugin system existed. And then there is the question. So I told you about detection, so if something happens, you can see it, but do you, what, what do you do then? Can you respond? Of course you can by creating your own program and plugging into the APIs, but don't we have a system that allows us to do it a bit more easily? And we are very excited that since a couple months now, we have the first version available of Falco Talon, which is a the response engine uh, from the Falco community for Falco, and it is Kubernetes native. So what it allows you to do is, uh, it's, a, it's a response engine that is true to the same nature of Falco rules. So it has a very simple language that you can use to specify whatever needs to happen in your Kubernetes cluster after a Falco rule fires. For, for instance, uh, you could uh, label a pod as suspicious, or you can kill a pod, or you can even start uh, a TCP dump session to take a look at what is happening in the network while some suspicious event happens. And uh, so we are very excited about this, uh, about this project, and please, if you're interested, uh, take a look at it, uh, try it, uh, because this is, uh, this we felt like it was the missing add-on for Falco. 
And uh, thank you uh, so much. Of course, we are in, uh, we are present uh, throughout the conference. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to have a party, and uh, we have a maintainer track session uh, with uh, myself and other maintainers, uh, and will be available all time at the Project Pavilion, of course, with our, uh, with our kiosk. You can meet uh, me, you can meet other maintainers, you can meet uh, uh, a lot of people from the community. Thanks a lot for listening.